Hi, uh, did you know how fast you can create clickable prototypes nowadays? I'll show you an example using my phone and the Claude app. So here's my lovely little sketch. And I'm gonna ask Claude, build it. All right, there we go. Claude is not gonna build it. Um, note that this video is not sped up in any way. I've recorded it in real time. So in about the time it takes to uh, drink a gulp of water, there we go. Our first version is up and it seems to be working fine. All right, let's add another feature. How about deadlines? All right, there it goes. So I'm calling this a clickable prototype, but actually it is a fully functioning running app, except that the code is not really in production state. But it works and it would, it would have taken a long time to do this uh, manually. So let's see. There we go, version two with deadlines. So we'll add an item and we'll give it a deadline. Oh, a pop-up even, that's nice. And uh, yeah. Great. Now for version three, add uh, two tabs, home and work. All right, there we go. And uh, the nice thing with this is yeah, you get more time to drink water. So is this a one gulp feature or a two gulp feature? I guess we'll find out. Two gulps, two gulps, okay. That was apparently enough. And uh, let's add a work item. So uh, let's set a deadline to it and say we gotta do a meeting. Yeah, it's working. We have home items and we have work items. Great. Let's make it a bit interesting. Make it uh, angrier. Okay, pretty vague instruction, but let's see what it does with it. And this is the interesting thing, because prototyping is now so cheap and so fast, so you can just try lots of crazy ideas. Okay, more water. We can entertain ourselves by uh, kind of following the progress here if we like. But yeah, let's see what it, what it makes out of this. Done. All right. Rage driven to do list. Personal battles. Work war zone. Crush the meeting. Analyze the project deadline. Yeah. Add your next conquest. Okay. This was a very, very angry to do list. So, um, yeah. I'm going to continue this on my computer and show how you can prepare uh, to make this into a real app. All right. Now I'm on my computer. And the nice thing with Claude is that you can uh, switch seamlessly between your computer and your phone. So here's my chat and here are my artifacts, which is what they call it in Claude. So there's my photo and here is my little app, including the code. Uh, and uh, I can even go back to previous versions there if I want to try that. So let's uh, make a design document out of this. And let's also include a short backlog. And uh, we'll say this will be input to our development process. There we go. So now it's creating a new artifact based on the prototype that was built. So uh, yeah, looking pretty good. High level design description, what are the key features? What's the user experience? And a suggested backlog for incremental implementation. Basic task list would be some kind of a minimum viable product. Then add the dual tap system. Makes sense, cool. Here I could iterate and I can give feedback and we could of course update this, but I'll say this is good. Next, I'll ask for an implementation plan. So write a step-by-step -step guide for how I can implement this in production. So moving away from the prototype code and building an actual production version of this product. And there we go. It's describing how I could do this. And the step from here to actually building it is quite small with uh, the help of AI. Or maybe I wanna build an iOS app. So now we get another artifact 
describing how to do that. So uh, yeah, pretty impressive. In just a few minutes, we went from this photo to a uh, running prototype, in fact, multiple versions of a running prototype, and got a, a, a design document, including a, a ordered product backlog, and uh, even two different implementation guides, uh, one for building a web app and one for building an, uh, an iOS app. Pretty cool.